Good morning. This is Pam from Follow Your Brush. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm talking about the question to sketch or not to sketch. That is the question. <laughs> like I said, this is Pam and I, from Follow Your Brush. Uh, it's my group on Facebook, or you can also follow me here on YouTube. Love to have you. Um, you can like and subscribe if you wish. I'm not a I'm not a professional teacher. I'm just an artist on a journey asking questions. And I wanted to share because some of you might be on that same journey and asking the same questions. Here's my question for today. Do we sketch or do we not sketch? When you're beginning to paint, I'm finding that when you watch videos, there are some people that are proponents of sketch always, always sketch. Um, so I'm going to do one over here, just doing the little sketching. So we're going to do a little tree, and I'm going to sketch it first. I have a lot of trees in my yard, and um, now that it's fall, and the leaves are coming off, I can see so much, um, I call them the skeletons <laughs> of my trees. And um, they're just amazing. They just kind of go everywhere and do all kinds of things. But I'm just gonna kind of sketch this briefly. And then on this side, um, people are often amazed when I say that I don't sketch that I just go in with color, uh, water and pigment. And, and then it's like, how can you paint without sketching? Um, but I actually kind of prefer that. And, and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. For one thing, I don't like little dusty marks coming down on my, and my sketching is kind of haphazard, just, just, it is what it is, it's more of a doodle than a sketching, I was doing that last night, in my, I bought some new sketchbooks, and just playing with them, um, and I discovered, if you followed me at all, you know that I have had surgeries on this hand, and on this thumb, and now I have a plate in here, so it restricts my movement, and so my sketching ability has actually changed. And so that may be why I prefer <laughs> to, uh, to do the painting without the sketch. But I'm going to show you, here's my sketch, but I want to show you what I like to do over here without sketching. This is my Levinson brush, um, Silver Fox. I love my Levinson's. Um, one of the reasons is the bamboo handles make it so light. With all my surgeries, that really was helpful. But what I enjoy doing is coming in with just a line of water. And you may not even be able to see that. Probably not, but I'm kind of reproducing this tree over here with just water. Then what I really enjoy doing, get some water down in here. So to sketch or not to sketch, that is the question we're talking about this morning. And you know, I'm discovering too that my trees are not really, really, really brown. <laughs> Surprise! But I am gonna do a, um, a moon glow. This kind of has a lot of different colors. Come in here and what I like to do is let the watercolor actually do the painting for me. 
Let the water do what it wants to do. I know I say that repeatedly, but look how pretty this is running. And then that gives me some bark texture. It gives me As it goes through the water, it just gives me a lovely result. I, now, here's the deal. Sometimes you feel like, well, if I don't sketch, you know, I'm gonna mess up. Well, that's part of the beauty of watercolor, <laughs> is that, you know, it just kind of does what it wants to do anyway. So not sketching really doesn't matter that much to me because I don't know what my watercolor is going to do. So this is kind of a wet on wet because um, I put the water in first and then let my paint do its thing. And I'm not going to worry about where it goes or what it does. Um, so I'm painting without sketching first. I was showing someone my one of my paintings the other day, and um, I told him that I don't sketch. He he was one that particularly does a lot of sketching and realism. Um, I don't. I like the free style and um he couldn't understand how i can paint something without sketching it so this is what i do so that's that's the answer to that as far as i'm concerned that's my moon glow it's a really pretty color now let me come in here with the one that i have sketched and for me personally, when I do the ones that are sketching, that I have sketched first, it's kind of, I kind of feel like I'm in a coloring book, so to speak. I just, um, because I want to stay in the lines and then I get more concerned about details and, um, and that type of thing, staying within my sketch. The sketch is great though, to give you an idea where you're going. And I like that tree too. Well, actually I really like the moon glow. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna let this old tree kind of go outside my window the leaves have just been falling like crazy. And so it's been really fun to watch that. And then I I see the same view every day, but it's um, really nice to see it with the leaves off and see the trees and the, the structures as they come back. They're my tree skeletons. So I'm liking this one too. So this is without sketching. It's got a little thing of pigment there, dried pigment. You can kind of wet that and let that come down. Of course, we know it's going to dry lighter. This is with the sketching. And right now, I'm kind of happy with both of them, to tell you the truth. Um, and you notice on the trees... I'm learning that the further out they get, they get almost like lace. They're just very lacy in their appearance. The little tiny limbs and um, it's just kind of fun to, to do those. Like I say, this is my Levinson. This particular brush is the Silver Fox. Um, and it just... Oh. It's just like heaven to paint with it because it, it's so soft. And it feels so wonderful in my hand. Um, 
I have been trying to do more sketching lately. And that's when I discovered that um, because of my surgeries, because that plate is in there, I have lost a little bit of my range of motion. So I have to kind of compensate for that. That is a really lovely tree. So, you know, I guess we can go either way. We can sketch or not sketch. But here's, here's, I guess here's my message to anyone who's interested. Do what you're comfortable with. And um, I know there are some tutorials out there because I've watched them that do not sketch at all. And then they make you kind of feel like if you do sketch first, you're cheating. You're, you're not cheating. One of the things I'm really, 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 really having to lean into in my own personal painting journey is the fact that this is my painting journey, not yours. It's, it's mine and not someone else's online that um, tells you five things to not do, or if you're doing this, five mistakes. Well, I already know how to make mistakes. <laughs> and I'm pretty good at identifying that. When I do make a mistake, I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I didn't really want to do that, but look what look what happened. So I I, I am aware of that. Um, so I kind of don't really want to watch that, that type of lesson. Um, but I do incur like the ones that tell you here are some tips and suggestions and if you like this try it if it doesn't work for you just remember it's your own particular journey so um i guess that's what i'm trying to say here but it is possible i'm gonna let that dry those are really pretty see how the moon glow kind of has a blue and it also has like a lavender in here that's really pretty. And for winter colors, I think it's a really pretty combo. I'm going to kind of come back in here again on this side that I did not sketch and just continue letting my brush play. I haven't gotten my, my favorite brushes, what I call sloppy, one of my favorite brushes. He's a little natural squirrel hair I'd have to find him I have my brushes put up so my kitties don't get into them because they think they're snacks but see I'm enjoying this without sketching as well and just letting my brush just kind of dance on the page both of these trees are probably going to look similar I've been thinking a lot about trees obviously with the leaves falling and watching them fall. I do have to remember that these ed typey tops are, get kind of lacy and you don't really need every single detail. So this is the moon glow. I like the little bit of gray in there, especially with the winter time. Uh, one of my very first paintings when I really didn't know what I was doing sitting with my husband in the hospital. I had my little 89 cent thing of watercolors and um, was just sitting there painting it. And I painted a tree and put in, oh my goodness, I don't know how many little branches. It was like a long, long day and I got so engrossed in adding branches to this tree it was just a ginormous tree <laughs> and when I brought it home my daughter says you actually did that 
And it's like, yeah, I did. It's a long day. And um, it kept me busy. That's when I really discovered that I liked watercolor because um, it just does amazing things. All right, I'm actually liking both of these. So to answer the question, to sketch or not to sketch, it's up to you. I like doing the tree without the sketch, but I'm also liking this tree that I sketched. So I like the texture in this one. You see that? Isn't that pretty? Let me zoom in a little bit. Isn't that pretty right here? Uh, that's the moon glow and it just kind of granulates and leaves those beautiful markings. And that, that's what your, um, let me move this back over a little bit. That's what your granulating colors do. I don't really know if I want to add any leaves to these or not because I didn't sketch any in here, but let me do that. I do funky little leaves. And you know, there's just not a whole lot left on those right now. So I'm just gonna put in a couple little stragglers. They're just kinda in, in and out on the trees, aren't they? At least our trees here, we're in the south. So, um, ours, obviously peak in color later than in the north in those climates and the tops are pretty much gone there's really not a whole lot of leaves left i'm going to do those sketched and i'm going to come in with some one of my favorite colors I like Quinn Gold. Can I do that a little bit? See, I'm going outside the lines because that's just what I do. It's got some Quinn Gold in there. Some Quinn Gold leaves. And obviously we don't know what type of tree this is because <laughs> I'm not looking at any kind of reference photo. I just do whatever I feel like. And like I say, they are squiggly because that's what my hand does. After all my surgeries, my hand just kind of squiggles around. It's almost like a doodle, doodling. Those are pretty. I like those little leaves. Get some more up in here, just, just a little bit. I am using my Arches paper today, 140 pound cold press. And my favorite Levinson brushes. Tracy Levinson, I know he's been really busy. All his brushes are handmade and he's been really busy over the holidays to meet all the needs and demands of the, um, now I'll see, I just messed up. I don't like that, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna go over here and use another color that I like and that is Aussie Red Gold. This time I am, there's no sketching involved. Just like I say, just sketch with my water. And for me, it really doesn't make a difference. Um, maybe because I've gotten used to this. But you do what you feel comfortable with. I do like to sketch. 
and often in the evenings I will sit in my recliner and just sketch. Um, because I do enjoy that. Uh, sometimes I'm just sketching nothing. Sometimes I do try a picture of some sort or look at it, something. And last night I was um, had some new sketchbooks and I was sketching a picture. At, it was a street, narrow street with some houses and... Um, I discovered that um, I'm going to come in here with some burnt sienna. That's not what I discovered last night. But that's when I discovered that there are motions that my hand, directions my hand can no longer go. I'm adding this burnt sienna to my tree trunk to give it a little more personality. And some texture. See how that moon glow is that a kind of a turquoise and um, as well as a kind of a gray. So one thing I've noticed is my trees are not brown. Even though we want to do that, we think they are. We're just kind of conditioned. Grass is green and trees are brown and skies are blue. Well, not always. So, actually, I could really develop this painting some more. I could add some sky. I could do some clouds. Um, but one thing I am learning is if I don't let it um, sit and dry, this one needs help. This one needs some help. Come out again here with some of these orange colors. It will dry lighter, of course. So I have to be mindful of that, but I do want to give some other texture to this tree that I sketched first. So to sketch or not to sketch, you are the one that has the wonderful opportunity to make your own decision. Imagine that. So many times when we're growing up, as not just children and adults, we're trying to live up to um, other people's expectations or labels, or you've got to follow this just so. And... Um, the older I get, the more I'm discovering that, <laughs> you know what? It's like we said in the 60s, it's your thing, do what you want to do. So a lot of that applies, especially if you're an artist. Just do what you feel comfortable with and have fun with. And um, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. If you feel comfortable sketching and you're not comfortable not sketching, then sketch. I like to learn the basics. And then um, Pablo Picasso said, learn all the rules so that you know what you're breaking, <laughs> which rules you're breaking. <laughs> so I guess that could apply to me as well. But I'm going to leave it right here to sketch or not to sketch. There's a lot more that I can do on both of these sides, uh, the sketch side as well as the non-sketch side. I can add some background. I can add some more color to these branches. Right now, I'm actually liking them equally. Um, I know you saw my other tree when it was a search of the yellow tree. And this, this, painting not so much i'm just comparing the sketching the tree first and then just painting with what i call it sketching with water just adding some water and then putting my 
color in there. And I, you know, I enjoy that. People say, how can you paint without sketching? Well, this is exactly what I do. I sketch with the water. I do an outline of where I want to go with the water, not a pencil. And then I come in with my pigment, pigment, because that's where the water, the pigment will take to the water. You know, that's, they play together. And so I know there's a little bit of a glare on that. Let me hold that up, maybe that helps. Still wet, I'm gonna let this dry. I probably will come back and do some more work on it. But I wanted to just address that question to sketch or not to sketch. That is the question. The answer, do what you wanna do. <laughs> Bye, thanks for stopping by. This is Pam, follow your brush on Facebook. I have a group over there for artists of all types. Um, and we're all learning together and sharing tips and advice. And you may like and subscribe to this as well. I put up, try to put up a video maybe once a week or every week and a half. And um, appreciate you being here. Have a great day and follow your brush. Bye.